as we all know, purple mushrooms are poisonous. I wonder. Oh wow, that's nice to know. I can hit these mushrooms once and harvest their experience. That other one wasn't having any of it though. Come on, Mauser, eat up. These bosses are recycled from Chantelise, which is not a good game by any stretch of the imagination. That's right. Eat up, guy. But not the red one. I'll take a hit to get rid of that red one. And that should be the end of Mouser. Sprite work in this game is pretty damn cute, so you got to admit. Okay, I'd love to keep going, but i got to figure out what these items are and unload what I've got, so let's go back alive. You see, if you die, you only get to keep one of these items, and that would be no good. We've got powerful anti-venom. Oh, we did get a slime liver! <laughs> We're in the money. No problem, then. Yes, oh yes, Sami Masai. Jake, be wary of yellow text. You already bought one candy for 104%. Really? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Does sound like something I would do, though. Okay, so, new day. What are we going to do with all this garbage that we've picked up? Uh, I reckon we should open for the morning. Anything expensive should be going on display. Really? I bought something for 104 Just not enough space to get all the stuff I want out and on display. But we gotta get out what's important, and that's the cherries. Alright, show me the money. Okay, so we got a little heart above old man. Very easy to miss. I wouldn't be surprised if I've missed one already. And I've got a handy dandy piece of paper where I'm going to be making a note of how many times we see that heart. Because now I know that the old man has leveled up once and I suspect he's going to have a budget of something like 6,000 now. Leveling up is super important. And yes, you have got to buy that, Louis. I hope you have enough money for it. Damn right, it's about right. When adventurers buy uh, items that they can equip, they will equip better items. No, don't sell stuff to me. Okay. Don't really have much money to burn here, but you can have a little less than 70%. Another near pin. Let's try and level up that girl so she doesn't have a budget of 600. So yeah, old man's got the budget now. I can start buying more expensive things. Jake, will your shop trade more when the province rises in base? Lame. Right, that baked yam will sell for a lot more than we paid for it, which is good for us. And get those long swords out because I really, really need Louis to be buying those. Red oil sells for a good amount, but uh, it's probably better to have as an, an ingredient. After all, we didn't really pay for it. Mm, yeah, things are looking good. I'll make a quick save here. Not that I'm going to be some reloading scum, but... Man, events... Oh, the Adventurer's Guild is closed. It must be one of those special days. I want to check these events. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> Poor Louie. So poor, and never enough mufflers.
I would never suspect of Jake of safe scumming. Never. I think I saved scum once in a uh, Europa time, but that's because I was wanting to do a bug that would only work when I did something. Safe scumming is bad, don't do it. So it seems Reset and Louis can bond over the fact that they are uh, both sponges to society. I remember being somewhere in my childhood and it having some truly delicious grass. Did that ever actually happen? Okay, we have a bit more money, so I may as well buy up another couple of books since they will come in handy. And otherwise, yep, the teriyaki goes for a pretty penny. That should do us here, but I also want to pick up something for Louis. Some much better armor. That helmet wouldn't go amiss, but I don't want to completely dry myself with money. Do you do the, uh... Now, where do I go to fusion my items? That might be a later thing. Alright, back to the store. If we can't adventure right now, we may as well get capital. Anything else expensive? Nah, we're good. Let's sell. We're getting plenty of just bonuses with the old man. Before we know it, he's going to be buying up all of our good stuff. And yes, housewife, buy it! That's probably scraping the top of her budget, but scraping the top is fine. Okay, Guildmaster wants some armor, and we just bought some from... I'm torn, though. I want this armor for uh, Louis. Ah, nice. That's how we check what it's worth. But it's only like four extra defense, and he has a fairly good uh, budget straight off the, uh, the start of the game, so show me the money. Oh, what? Okay, you're paying base price, but... Uh... Oh. Son of a gun, should have sold him the cheap stuff. And this is why it's always good to have some uh, cheap rubbish on hand. At least something from every category. Trouble is it breaks the combo, and that's what really digs into the experience that you gain from all this. Old man, stop selling me stuff. Yeah, I'm not really getting my just uh, pins with 70%. Let's try a little lower. Ah, it's all coming together for the wallet. This is good. And although it is night time, there is little else we can do out. Although, ooh, two events. Yeah, let's do it. Is alcohol yummy? Yes, it is, Rosette. It is very yummy. <laughs> uh, Tear drank some bad stuff. You know, can I just appear offline and stop seeing all this rubbish? Or busy? Will that do it? I'll try it. <laughs> just nonsensical text in this game. But it's all just a little bit of fun. Homeward ho. Ugh. And I think this is the uh, the scene that you might see screenshotted among various channels. Oh, Guildmaster, you double crossed me before. Sick midriff on him. <laughs> I 
Jake, you have to go offline for pop-ups to stop. Alright, offline I shall go. And then suddenly the stream ends. Okay, not a bad haul. Could have been better, but uh, we need to get some more exploring done so we can have someone other than Louis to play with. Not much point putting anything out on display since straight away we want to head out to the Adventurer's Guild. Come on, Louis, it's time for you to. Oh, all he has is the worn sword. The boss battle is going to be super hard without a long sword. If you return now, no time will pass. Do I have a spare long sword? Right, let's pick up the long sword and the iron armor. I think they are going to be uh, a little bit of use for Louis here. And I don't think we'll pick up so many items that it's going to impact on us financially. So now, hopefully. Yeah, we've got the longsword and the iron armor equipped, so Louis should be the real tank. We're also close to a level up, which will make things a little easier. Oh, jeez. Destroyed here. Go on, try that again. Get out of here. That said, we'll probably level up before the boss, but if we get close to another level up before the boss, then that'll be happy days. Like I said, this upcoming boss has a habit of giving me a lot of trouble. And now that I think about it, if I die here, I'm going to lose the longsword or the armor. Which is far from an ideal situation for me. Can you have that? No, you cannot. I believe the raincoat is just for the mage. Damn fish. I was looking at fish at the midway of Platts and just thinking, God, I just want to pick it up and eat it whole. But life is cruel. We can't always have what we want. Now, I've learned a second special move as Louis, where I give out a... Uh, oh, hell, let's do it just to show it off. Yeah, I can do that, but it's pretty weak and uh, not something I have any intention of using. Killing these guys mostly because the chain is really good for getting the experience, which is going to be really handy before the boss, since I want full SP for her. steering wheel well clear of those because they can just outright kill me. Jake, you're only doing five levels. It would be more efficient to clear out the floors. Yeah, I don't have time for that. As I mentioned before, I really, really do not like dungeon diving. Which is one of the really weaker points of Rune Factory 4. Some of the dungeons just seem to drag. Right, I need to level up and not get hit after getting leveled up. Might be a big ask for me because I'm really bad, but I shall try. So we have a bit of walnut bread, so not all hope is lost if we do suffer like G did during the boss fight. Jeez, oh, I did not even see those guys. That just shows how horrifically blind I am, but thanks to the XP. Jake, rune fact. Which rune factory has been your favourite? Four. 
it has a lot of improvements over 3. Although I loved 3, it was like one of my favourite games for a while. Rune Factory 1 and 2 were terrible. Rune Factory Tides of Destiny, or Oceans, depending where you are, was uh, great comfy city, lovely characters, worst farming and exploration there has ever been. Alright, so Midriff is uh, telling us a bit about why the dungeon shift. Probably just a cop-out method by uh, people that make games for replayability. Yeah, randomized dungeons like that is not an appeal at all. In fact, I tend to see that and it turns me off of the game completely. Alright, Sharmu, Lady Thief. Again with the talking midriff. Alright, I've had enough of what she says. Let's uh, let's get killed by her. And we probably will get killed by her because I'm not really that good at this. And uh, I can't remember how I meant to destroy her. She hits like a tank, and she takes hits like a tank. So I think the best idea is to hit her when she throws those. Because if I get too close, she will... Uh... Yep, she will wreck me in uh, six shots, I believe. Hmm. No, diagonals seem to be a strength for me here. Come on, I got gotcha. you. Unpleasant. <laughs> okay, don't feel all that safe, knowing that I can uh, suffer one more hit before it's all ogre. No, not even. So as I said, I've lost everything I picked up, except for one item that I can choose to take back. And frankly, the shark's fin is the most expensive and, uh... Hmm... Tricky one, but I think I'll go for the iron armor. So we got wrecked. Putting the wreck in Wrecketeer. Which isn't so good, because that debt is only three days away. Could just try and jump right back in, or we could try and uh, generate a bit of cash first. <laughs> I can just hope that Louis comes for that armor. All right, let's build up some uh, some dosh. Jake, have you ever played Detroit and Odyssey? Yes, do not like that game. Oh, don't sell stuff to me, man. want a weapon. Unfortunately, all the weapons we have are terrible, so have the rusty dagger, please. Yeah, I'm not getting all that lucky. People are just selling me things when I really need to be the one selling. Gotta get that money. No. Forget it. You are paying... You are getting very little for that. I just love making money.
I want that little girl leveled up. Okay, old man. This is why I'm glad I've leveled you up, because you want the honey, and the honey is super expensive, so you'll take it. And check that, uh, the just combo, giving me so much experience. Merchant level up at six already. But, uh, what does that get me? Let's ask Midriff. Taking orders, more items. Alright, now we can fusion. Change wallpapers. Yeah, that'll have to do. Okay, and it's night time. Unfortunately, there isn't much better we can do than just selling stuff. I don't really have any good stuff. Let's get that beef bowl and candy apple for people that want to make their dinners. Show me the money. Jake, what are the important merchant levels? I don't know, it's been too long since I've played this. Okay, unfortunately I haven't leveled up the man. Oh, he's selling it to me. Right. Again, I'm not paying much for that. The bulls are expensive, I'll have you know. And now the housewife wants it, I hope she has the money. Damn right she does. So, uh, paying off our debt is now entirely possible. As long as people don't sell rubbish to us now. Stop selling this stuff, Louis, and buy that armor with the money I just gave you. And then some. I think at the very start of the day and the very end of the day, you get uh, less customers than normal. So the ideal time to uh, open the shop is between, well, the second and third time pa uh, time of the day. But I didn't really have a choice today, because I didn't fancy going back and getting humiliated by Charma again. Jacob, you played Offworld Trading Company. It's all about making money more than anybody else. Um, I believe I was offered that by Marvin, and I said, nah. Early access and did not appeal. Right, Midriff wants to tell us more. Okay, taking orders in advance, but I know all about that, so uh, get out of my face. Let's go and brutalize Charm. Okay, we don't have any of the good stuff. We're just going to uh, do it without armor and without better weaponry. Do it the traditional way. But I, I do actually need to look around now because there could well be some good items here that we need. And getting that extra bit of SP could really help because that is one more attack, or special attack, that we can do on Charm. I heard GTA 5 is about making money. Well, GTA 3 was my favourite GTA, and uh, if you wanted to complete that, you had to bring Catalina a million ducats, or, uh, or did you only need half a million? Uh, I forget. Which is interesting. Does that mean a speedrun of GTA 3 needs them to make all that money as well? Or do they have some kind of get around for it? Who's to say? GTA 3 was one of my favourite games because there were so many bugs in that game. Bugs and glitches to exploit to one's heart's content. Why do we even fix bugs in games when they're so much fun? If the fight goes bad this time too, Jake, remember you can eat sweets for mana and spam those effects. Yep, I did completely forget that. Could have saved my bacon if I had spammed those, but I don't even think I have. All I have is a shroom. And that is not going to save my bacon in a hurry. Did Reset just help us out there? Yeah, 
How's that for a charm? I don't think we got an extra bit of SP for that level up. But we should get one on the next one. And that'll be fine. Stay well clear of that. And progress. Again, I didn't even see you there. Which is dangerous you playing as Lou because those guys will drink your health. I can't be doing with any of that. Candy, what do you give me? Staggering 10 SP. Well, that's two more special attacks, so yeah, probably could have won with that. But why worry? Worrying is for other people. The night is young. Got plenty of time to play this, and then when it gets late, I'm just gonna curl up with Majora's Mask, because it is, as everybody with half a brain cell to rub against itself knows, it is the best Zelda. Ocarina does not even come close. Oh dear, oh dear. You just all get out of here. Kind of living on the edge here, that's not good. In GTA 3, you can literally make billions of the fire truck and roleplay. I had great fun uh, playing all these side missions in GTA 3. Yes, including the fire engine. Now, I think you got a little bit of a health boost on your vehicle when you completed successive uh, missions with the fire truck. But it just seemed to be indestructible after a while, and there must have been good reason for that. Okay, I'm halfway towards dead here. I need to get that... Uh, get that level up, because I don't want to waste my items. But this whole iciness is uh, making it a little tricky. No, no you don't. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Yeah, not that either. Oh, we've got 20 SP and plenty of hit points to tank charm. Let's go and slap her silly. Alright, charm round two. <laughs> Notice that I am significantly weaker now. Oddly enough, I don't take as much damage. That must be the levels up. Come on, Charm. Oh. Charming. I'm getting every flavor wrecked already. Let's just... 30 hit points? 10 hit points? Just use it now for a little bit of peace of mind. Hmm, that actually works.